Rapid advancements in digital technology have created large gaps in many communities, often called the digital divide. On this segment of Community Hotline, we'll be talking to Abida Jamaluddin about how the Rosewood Initiative is working with Metro East to bridge this digital divide with media classes for refugee populations. Our show today is focusing on community media, and I've invited you because I think you can give us a little bit different perspective than maybe some others have on, on what that means to them. Um, but first, before we get to that, can you tell me briefly about, about where you're from and when you came to the United States and how that experience has kind of been? I'm from Burma. My father from the Arkan state, everybody know as a Rohingya. Yeah, so I'm a Rohingya woman. I left my country uh, 2004 to Malaysia. So I came to US from Malaysia as a refugee 2016, January 15. So I, I'm very um, impressed by your bravery to come here. And there's, a, there's quite a group of, of Rohingyans that are, are here in the Portland area. I'm so lucky I have here one cousin who helped me a lot of everything. Like uh, he welcomed me from the airport everything he helping me so I don't have to go many time like uh, other people. After one year, I, um, I feel like uh, I want to help people. Like I know I'm, I, uh, I'm high school educated. I saw here many ethnic city like Kachin, Chin, Mon. So those people are really weak more than me. So this is first step. I volunteer at the Midway uh, Division. Then I met um, Nancy, who are working at the Rosso Initiative. This is my lucky person who made me today. You met me. So then uh, first, uh, Nancy told me that, are you willing to volunteer for Jessica computer class? So I have some knowledge and I am willing to help in my own community. So I start volunteer at the Rosso Initiative. Then after one year, Nancy say, hey, are you willing to work at the Rosso? So this is my lucky time. So I start working to 2020. You came to the Rosewood Initiative and the Rosewood has been a partner of Metro East Community Medias for off and on for several years. And we, we appreciate what they do. They're a community center kind of right in, on the border between Gresham and, and Portland, right? Yes. And, and so they, they're a great place to come for, for people to gather and to meet their neighbors and to learn things, a lot of different programs there. Rosso Initiative is the main area for our community, Good. main center. Before we are struggling, like after you are refugee, you came here after three months, you don't know how to, where to go, how to apply the, you know, food stamp and renewing your insurance. So me also struggling those things a little bit. But uh, when you know there is a community center, we can go, we can meet a different nationality, different country people. We made, we make a new friends. Their hope is all refugee come together here, get to know each other. And we are happy to live in America. We start to try to involve in America culture. So this is, yeah, the main thing. So our Russell initiative is not only the computer class or English uh, citizen class, there are many different things also. If you want to, uh, I think there is challenging when you, uh, when is the COVID, you have to study from online. So Russell Initiative are uh, distribution, the Chromebook, iPad, people are senior, they are providing for, so they also navigate how to use. This is the one thing we really important for our people. Some people are, they don't even know how to take a picture and send it to you. So after we have a digital class, digital literacy, computer class, so they know how to use in the Zoom and how to use in the computer, laptop, and your uh, mobile. So many things, they get benefit 
our community people are getting benefit from the Rosso initiative. Also, they are navigate resources, connection with the other resource, wraparound service. I think we are so lucky to get to know Rosso and we now we know how many resources we can connect. How did Metro East come into this and what, what have they been able to do for you at Rosewood as far as uh, increasing your learning and, and your education? They came to uh, teach in the Rohingya community in Burmese, um, English, uh, computer literacy. And then Nancy asking me, are you willing to help? So I will pay you money. But I say, Nancy, no, Nancy, you... Here, many white people, many organizations are helping our community. Why not we are helping each other? Then I don't take any money, but we have a computer class at the Rosswood. Then we give it to, after this class done, we give everybody to uh, continually learn. So they give the ThinkPack computer for each person. So because of the Metro is, uh, Computer class, many people have a skill, you know, how to make a, a Gmail, how to open the Zoom, how to take in video, uh, how to take in pictures. Many people can use a little easier. Many people are improving their digital skills. Everything pretty much is online, especially through COVID. So it's been very important for people to know how to use the computer. I think it would be very difficult to do anything really if, if without it. That's why this is very important for everybody to know how to use in the digital. Mm -hmm. And uh, also in person, teaching in the class is most important for. Yes, it does make a difference. I mean, we can learn a lot online, but being there in person and connecting with people. Yeah, is probably... yeah Jessica computer class in person, so she can show how to go, how to click, how to uh, search in the Google. Today I have a, I can say is my, I can work at the Rosso initiative, but first step is computer class. So today also you are in, interviewing me because of the digital, you know, this yeah, is an yes, amazing I, thing. Yes, I, yes, I wanted to know how, how it changed your life or how that, how that helps you to, to get along. And it sounds like it does. It sounds like it does. And, and then you're sharing it with others, which is wonderful. So thank you so Thanks much, so Abita. Monica. Thank you so thank much. You. I appreciate your, your time here today and, and continue doing what you're doing. You're doing a great job. And I, I know that a lot of people look up to you in your community. So I'm proud, yes, proud of that. Yes, thank you, Monica. Yeah, okay. thank you, you take so care much for thank everybody. You. Thank you. And thanks for watching uh, this episode of Community Hotline. And please, if you don't know about the Rosewood Center, check it out or you can support it because they can always yeah, use it. Yeah, Rosewood Initiative is a great place for all the community. Thank you so much. Thank you.